All right, so once again, we are talking about Derp Fest and this time it is the Redmi K20 Pro. Now, this update has been released on the 23rd of February 2022 for this particular device. And we're going to talk about the complete review because I've been using it on this device for two to three days. So before we get into the detail, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So let's see what we have here. We have the K20 Pro running OSS vendor based Derpfish Xeon Android 12. It says get derped and that something is really exciting. I'll tell you why. Now you do have a change log over here. Let's see how long this is. It says derp source upstream added face lock and app lock added refresh rate tile added Volti icon from Motorola added some Russian translations allow hide arrow for back gesture added volume steps added per app volume a lot more changes and improvements device change log fix deep sleep issues with bluetooth and wi-fi scanning so that's what the change log says over here you have to use one of these supported recoveries in order to you know make sure you don't get a boot loop the rom comes in gapps variant only based on oss vendor and soviet gulag kernel so the performance is going to be pretty insane use android r firmware of your device region please use one of the recoveries provided above otherwise your device will be stuck in fast boot you have been warned right so we're not going to talk about installation a lot in this particular video but we're going to talk about the fact that this is a redmi k20 pro this device is more than two years old and it is running the latest android version with amazing smoothness just have a look this is a 60 hertz device these two right here are 120 hertz and uh, as you can see over here the smoothness in app icon animations is rock solid and it works absolutely fine. Even if you look at the Google feed, it is fast, fluid and smooth and it works absolutely fine. So let's let's see what else we have in this particular ROM. You have a Google search bar at the bottom. And if you swipe from the top to bottom, you do have a ton of customization options available. Let's first actually go ahead and disable the dark theme and adaptive brightness so that you can see things clearly. Let's see here. Yeah, much, much better, right? So. If you swipe from the top to bottom, you do have some customization options, including caffeine mode, which I've enabled right now. You do see you have some customization options available over here, heads up and sound sync volume panel. So, you know, all these features are present and they work absolutely fine. You have the restart menu over here, along with the settings shortcut. So, you know, no issues there whatsoever. Now, apart from this, at the top over here, you will see that you have these small icons, your battery estimates along with Wi-Fi calling icon. All of them are working absolutely fine. No problems at all. Now, if you press and hold on the home screen, you will have home settings, which gives you access to Derp launcher. And it does give you options of a lot of customization. Moving on, if you go to widgets, you have your standard Android 12 widgets, which are present and they work absolutely okay. If you go to wallpaper and style, you can go ahead and choose themed icon along with a beautiful derp wallpaper let's see here yeah i don't know why they're obsessed with owl probably it means something <laughs> all right so you do have your standard widget over here everything is working fine this rom does not come with any bloatware it comes absolutely bare bones as you can see it comes with a very very basic camera application so you'll probably gonna have to install gcam of some sort to get good camera quality because this is definitely not going to give you amazing camera quality now, apart from this, if you go to settings and if you go to about, go to the Android version, you will see that this is the latest update of Derp Fest along with the February security patch and Soviet Gulag kernel. HC Linux status is enforcing Widevine L1 is certified. That means DRM info, your uh, Amazon Prime and Netflix should be working absolutely okay. Your banking applications should not have any issue because safety net is passing just fine and Play Store certification is present as well. So, you know, all the good things along with amazing smoothness is what Dubfest has to offer. Now, moving on, if you actually go to the battery section, you will see that you don't really have the thermal profiles option over here. You do have idle manager and use pixel battery stats provider. If you go to battery usage, I haven't been using the device much. So, you know, not much to say here, but you can easily get five to five and a half hours of screen on time in 100% with mixed usage, which is always a good thing. 
Now this device does come with unlimited Google photo storage, which is a good thing as you can see over here. Along with this, if you go to settings and you go to derp space, you will see that you do have a ton of customization options. Now I've already covered this in two different videos for the Mi 11X and the Poco X3 Pro. If you want to see in detail what all customization options are available in derp space, actually go ahead and check one of those videos. If you go to the app section, you do have a dedicated game space, which does allow you to, you know, add different apps and customize your gaming experience. I've added my benchmark applications. Now, if you go to the multitasking menu, you will see that things are smooth and fluid. You have screenshot clear on and lens options. So, you know, all, overall, all in all, this particular ROM as a whole in the UI is rock solid and smooth. No bugs, no issues whatsoever. But what about the benchmark number? So let's quickly go ahead and talk about them first. As you can see, the CPU throttled to 90% of its max performance and average was 187, 954 GIPS. Now that's higher than what the Poco X3 Pro scored. Now let's talk about the N22 benchmark numbers over here. As you can see, 562, 993. This is one of the highest numbers that I've seen across the board on this particular device. And this is amazing stuff because the benchmark numbers are really, really good on this particular ROM. So is the performance. Now let's go ahead and talk about the single core and multi-core. This is a little disappointing because the single core usually is around 730 and 740 in Soviet Gulag, but 704 single core, 2,419 multi-core. So all in all, Dubfest on all the three devices is performing splendid. It's doing a great job. And we're going to do a speed test between these three devices with the same ROM. Let me know if you're excited or not. And in the pinned comment, you can see a list of accessories that we are selling on Amazon. You can go ahead and buy them to support us. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.